Hello everyone, I'm back with my another video and in this video we will talk about how we can quickly identify who made the code change with the git blame command. So basically in your in your VS code next to the line of code you can see the author name and the commit ID directly in VS code which will help you in easily identifying who made the code change. So let's start. Uh, what Starting with the introduction like what is git blame? So git blame is a command that helps you to trace the history of a specific line or a set of lines in a file. Uh, git blame displays the author, the commit hash and the timestamp of each line in a file which allows us to track uh, when and why the changes were made. So why we should use the git blame command? Uh, so I've listed three main reasons here. Firstly, to track the changes. Secondly, uh, it will help in troubleshooting like which will help in identifying the source of bugs or problems and thirdly is for collaboration which will help us in gain insights about the code ownership and the history for better collaboration and accountability so let's not waste any time and let's do a demo in the demo firstly we'll create a sfdx project then we'll create a github repo and link the SF, local sfdx project with the remote github repo after that, we'll create an Apex file, then we'll uh, do different commits and then uh, I'll show you how easy it is to find who did the chain directly in VS code. We will also see the extension which I'm going to use and uh, just uh, like if you are new to Git or GitHub and you want to start your journey, I've created a specific playlist for it. I can I'll share that in the comment section. Do check it out. It has some great reviews. So let's start. So I am in my GitHub repo. And in the repo, I'll uh, going to create a new repo. I'll name it as git blame test. And I'm going to include a readme file and I'll uh, create the repository. Okay, awesome. So the repository has been created. Now I'm in my VS code. I'm going to create a new SFDX project using the command SFDX create, create project with manifest. Create a standard project. Just name it as uh, git name test project and save it on desktop. So um, now I what I'll do is I'll click on these three dots and I'll find the terminal and new terminal. Okay, awesome. So now uh, we are uh, going to run some GitHub commands. For that, I'll go back to my repo and I'll click on this code, green icon code, and I'll copy the HTTPS URL for my repo. Uh, now, uh, like we are going to connect this local project to our remote GitHub branch. Uh, uh, before that, like I'm going to use some Git commands. Uh, you can use your VS code uh, out of the box features. For example, to initialize the repo repository, you can click here. I'm going to do it using Git terminal. Uh, you can do it other ways as well. So firstly, I need to initialize a repository. For that, I'll use Git init command. Awesome. So the repository has been initialized. You can see the changed files are here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add now I'm going to add remote origin here using the command git remote add origin and the URL uh, for our uh, remote repo. Click enter and the origin has been added to verify just type git remote minus V. Okay, awesome. So now it will do the fetch and push commands for the below URLs whenever we uh, do the do those commands. Now we have to add our changed files, uh, which we can see in the source control tab here to remove staging area. We'll do that using git add dot command. So dot represents all the files. Now you can see that uh, from, uh, so it moved to the staged changes. Now we need to do a commit. For that we will do git commit minus m, something like an initial commit files and click enter awesome so all our files has been committed but this commit is currently present in our local repo and not in our remote repo so for that we are going to do a git push command so when we do the git push command we need to 
tell our uh, VS code like where, uh, where it needs which branch it needs to push. So I'll do git push origin slash master. Since we are in the master branch, I'll uh, create a master branch in our uh, repo and it needs it needs to push it. It needs to push the changes to the master branch. Enter. Awesome. Now let us, uh, we are in our uh, GitHub repo page. Now let's see if the changes are there. So it shows that master had recent committed. Uh, if I click on compare and pull request, I can see all the 18 change files. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is we are going to uh, do our development. Now we are going to do our development on the master branch. So this will be our production branch. If I tell you about a real life scenario. Now let us go back to the VS code. So I've created this calculator class and added this uh, function that is add two numbers and I'm going to commit it. So this time I'm going to use VS code. Adding a commit message that is adding calculator class with add two numbers and commit and publish branch. Okay, awesome. Now, um, uh, like I'm going to create one more method that is the divide uh, that is subtract two numbers. Just I'm going to copy paste and save it. And going to do the commit. So I've done uh, two commits for now. So I'm going to uh, add a commit message that is subtract two numbers and commit and sync changes. Okay, awesome. So now you can see that we have already added three commits to our master branch. Now your question would be how to determine like who did the commit. For that we can do git blame. Firstly, for that we need to go to the calculator class, click on copy path or uh, click on copy relative path and then just do git blame and the file. Okay, now it is showing me who did the commits with the commit ID, the author name and the timestamp. This way I can find out like who, which person did the commit and uh, what was the commit ID. Uh, so now you see that uh, I can see the changes here, but it's a very tiresome process like going through that in the terminal. There is one easy way that is you can install an extension. What you need to do is in VS code click here and search for git blame. Now install this extension. Click on install. Awesome. It has been installed. And if I go back to my VS uh, to my file screen, Apex class screen, boom, I can see that uh, I can see directly um, in the file, like who made the commit. Like this was added as per adding calculator class with this method and it was added by me. Secondly, for the subtract method was also added, but it was added as part of a different commit. So these informations I can see directly in the VS code. So this is really useful when you are working in a, a big project and you need to determine like who needs to, who did the change instead of going to the uh, remote repo or searching in the terminal, directly install this extension, this useful extension and directly see it in your VS code. So that's all for today's video. Hope you learned something new. Do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.